Testing. It's not on. I think it might be too loud. This might work. Hi everyone, my name is Imani Black. It has been a long time since I've done like a face-to-face -face or mono to or mono type video, but I wanted to do one this year. I've been wanting to do this for a long time, so I'm doing it. I'm a photographer. Um, but what you may not know is that I'm not only a photographer, I am also a creative strategist. So I work with local businesses to come up with their business and creative strategies and really just help them thrive in a creative way. So I do consulting for that. And I'm also a gallery curator. So I curated art galleries in Dallas. Um, one earlier this year that I did a video about, you should check it out. I am also an artist. So I like to, really I like to turn my photography into like different things. So like um, in the past, like last year, I took this, in 2020, I took this really cool picture of this iconic landmark in Dallas. I could have just sold like normal photo prints, which is normally what people do, but I made this. So this is a picture and this is a canvas print. I painted the size of the canvas, glued it to the canvas, and then I put a top coat on this to make it look like a painting instead of just a picture, but it is a picture. This is my best selling picture also, by the way, you can get this on my website. Not this canvas print, I don't sell that anymore, but I do sell photo prints, 11 by 14 photo prints is what I sell now for this. But let me know if you like little key want one, cause like I'll make them, I have a bunch of canvases, so. <laughs> hit me up, hit me up. Also in my own way of my photography and artistry coming together into one, I have created a decorative glass out of my photography. So that picture I just showed you, I created a glass Oh my God, it's not focusing. Maybe I should do it this way. I don't know. Oh, I don't know how to do it. I might just have to insert a clip. I partnered with Kettle Art Gallery and Deep Ellum. We came together to create this awesome glass. Is it flat? It is not, it's bubbling. I love sparkling water. Yes, it's good. I like their pineapple one, but they didn't have it available yesterday. So I got this instead and it's my second favorite. I like the lime. It reminds me of like Sprite without all the sugar. Not sponsored, I'm not there yet, but I will be. <laughs> to sum it up, cause I don't want to say I'm like 10 different things. Cause I'm also a documentary maker, uh, a model. <laughs> Uh, what else have I done? I've done so much, y'all. Part of my mission and part of something that like I really enjoy doing is just dabbling in everything I'm interested in. So recently, I was on IG Live yesterday <laughs> telling people to nominate me for the Cosign Awards Creative Entrepreneur of the Year. Um, and no one joined the live, so like I, or only one person joined, and then after they got off, it wasn't really anyone. But I was on there painting my nails, and then I remembered, I was like, oh yeah, I wanted to, I need to, I have an idea of something I started, just haven't finished it, but I got all the tools and everything for it, so I'm like, you need to get back into doing that, and I don't know, just painting my nails on IG Live really did inspire that. We're gonna kinda go on this journey together with this, but let me just show you, let me just show you. Am I a sunglasses designer now, y'all? Is that another part of my artistry? It is not <laughs> at this time. But I did paint these sunglasses. These are some sunglasses I bought from a young lady named Jada a couple years ago. Um, they're pretty heavy, which is why I really like them. They stand out a lot to me. But yeah, these super cool sunglasses. They're super cute, shout out to Jada. Um, but yeah, I painted these sunglasses and I just love the way they look on me. Also, I've taken pictures and every time like I post about it on my IG, which is where y'all should follow me to keep up with me. Um, people always compliment me. So I'm like, oh my God, thanks. So yeah, these are like my favorite sunglasses and I painted them and I think they look really good. And you know, for me, I love sunglasses. When I was a kid, I wore glasses. <laughs> So I couldn't really wear sunglasses. I'm new into painting. Like I'm not really like, I can't do anything detailed. I'm just not there yet. 
So I want to paint my sunglasses and just like get myself more acclimated with painting. Like I love painting, I love drawing. It's just not something I'm super disciplined and skilled at. So I want to, you know, build up that. And I, my goal is to paint all my sunglasses that I have. So I have like, I don't know how many, but I've even been buying some since I started this project. <laughs> and I want to paint all these sunglasses. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Okay. I have, let's see, one. Two, three, four, Wow, I have 10 pairs of sunglasses. That's cool, I did not count this before. But yeah, so I've already painted one. I just bought these recently. These are my newest pairs of sunglasses. And I think they're really cute. Oops. I think they're super cute. Oh my gosh, these kind of go with my outfit today. I think these are the glasses we're gonna paint today. Oh my God, yeah. My glasses are green. My drink is green. Uh, my top is green. I think we have a winner. These are this is what I'm painting today. Sunglasses are really simple to paint, and I feel like as an amateur, like this is just a cool thing to like get me more familiar with painting angles and different things like that. Because I'm like, what am I gonna paint? I don't want to just paint nothing. Like I could, but it's like, I love sunglasses. Why not just, why not just paint a sunglasses? Like it's cute. It's cute. If y'all really like it, this, I'm gonna do a video for each one, but let's get started with painting. Like, let's get started. Also, if you're not subscribed, you should subscribe. I found this really cool paint kit, a comprehensive paint kit set on Amazon. It came with so much stuff. Like, I wanted something that was comprehensive. This was comprehensive and it was well worth the value and I'll definitely have it linked below. But yeah, so I got this easel it came with. Also, it came with, um, is this how you open it? It came with a bunch of paint. Like, I've, I've painted before for the canvas prints and everything. I only use black though. I'm not that, like, inexperienced in painting. And like, I painted when I was like coming up and it's a fun thing. So yeah, I got like this. Two things of, <laughs> I got two of these. It's full of paint, full of paint and it comes with a shelf inside so it's like all of this paint so much paint another thing that this kit came with that i thought was super cool is that it came with a bunch of canvases like i got these canvases this is an 11 by 14. i don't know what size this is i would probably say 8 by 12. let me not even get to lying i don't know what it is but this is 11 by 14 it canvas that it came with. This is also um, specific size that I will let you know when I figure it out. It also came with these canvas panels, which is, it came with um, like two, one or two. Oh, yeah, it came in like two different sizes. And it also came with the five by seven size. I also bought more canvases on Amazon too, more canvas panels, just cause I know like I'm gonna paint all these sunglasses so like yeah i need to go ahead and get me some so i got a 14 pack as well but it came with two in that set another cool thing that the set came with also is it came with an acrylic notepad so i can draw on this which is really cool um i ended up buying my own separate like drawing pad though because you can paint on this like it says it's bleed resistant which means that you can paint on it and i wanted to sketch things first that's how i like to do so um so i sketch first and so i bought a sketch pad another cool thing that this set came with it came with a painting i don't know what it's called but like the painter's thing so i have one this is not the one it came with i just have one because i used to paint of course for the canvas panels and then finally it came with it came with a bunch of these brushes and i was like dude this literally has everything i need in it so that is really cool but yeah it came with brushes everything um so yeah i think i'm ready to get started like are y'all ready to paint are you ready to watch me paint cheers to this project we're gonna call this a sunglasses project for now and let's get started cheers Oh my God. 
gosh. This is not bad. Not bad. Not bad. but this actually came out worse than that. I'm annoyed. Okay, let's touch it up a little bit. It's, it's okay. <laughs> no, what the hell is, what, what, what? Oh my gosh. Wait, where is the camera? <laughs> oh wow. Well, I think the sketch came out a little bit better than the drawing initially, but I did a lot of erasing and made it look a little better. So I feel so much better about it. So yeah, um, now I'm gonna start painting. Let me find my paint. For I'm looking in my storage and easel which I got on Amazon link below that I'm gonna use for this sunglasses so I don't know this one kind of looks good I feel like these two would be like a good color it also has like a little bit of specks in there, which I do kind of want to do. So I'm probably going to do like a light color, maybe a silver. Can you see that? It has like light specks in it. For this first one, I'm not even going to cap. I'm an amateur. I ain't really trying to, um, I think I honestly want to use like these two colors. And then I want to use that copper like I used over here. It's not perfect, but I think it's, I think it would be perfect. So yeah, three colors, these three colors to make this, even though the glasses in the frame are pretty much dang near the same color, I don't want it to look like that. So I'm not, <laughs> it's my world in this painting experiment. It is a little bit darker. I think I'm going to mix it. Let's, oh wait, oh my God, what? I totally didn't even see this. Okay, 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 okay. So wait, what? Oh, I'm gonna use this color for my sunglasses. I do think a little bit of brown might go in. So I'll use a little bit of copper and I'll probably use copper on the lens as well so it'd be mixed in there. And then I'll probably go back and add some little touches more, most likely because it does have like a little bit of an effect. All right, so we are finally at that stage where this is gonna be a picture. These are brand new. I'm going in with the color Emerald Green. Doing that. Ooh, I don't know about that actually. Actually, I'm gonna mix it. So it's a bit green, super light minty green if anything. But I think that should help. I'm using the copper color as well. I'm trying to make sure I have a good brush. I don't want to mess it up. Yeah, I think this is going to work. I kind of like this color. It is definitely not the perfect color though. Hmm. I don't want to waste paint. Hmm, I don't know. I'm doing it though. I wanna do this now. Take some of that off. 
and it's kind of cool. I like it. Oh wow, this actually is perfect. I don't think this is the right brush, but it'll work for now. Wow, the fact that this color is so pretty. It is definitely giving mint though, but I like this. Ha, <laughs> wow, this is actually kinda cute. <laughs> That's cool. Um, wow. <laughs> I'm actually pretty impressed. I know this ain't perfect, but that's okay. I don't even want to touch that though. Actually, I do. There we go. Yeah. We'll just say that this was the inspiration. It's not going to be perfect. It doesn't have to be. That's how I roll. I'm like, I don't have to do things perfectly. This is for fun also. And I kind of just don't care about getting the microphone, not the microphone, but the paintbrush like dirty or anything. Oh my God. I like this. Wow. I am an artiste. Like, are you kidding me? This looks so cute. It's definitely not perfect, but it's definitely the best that I'm gonna be able to do today. <laughs> wow. Oh! Okay. <laughs> wow, your girl is an artiste. Wow, I really like this. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. It just needs a little something. And I like this a lot. It's actually gonna be really nice. This is my attempt at the turtle. It's a light turtle look. I don't know how to explain it really other than it's a light turtle. I don't like that. Let me fix it. Oh God, what did I do? Lord have mercy. All right. I just insert a picture once it's done drying, but this is what it looks like. I actually really like it though. It's not perfect, but it's worth it. For three colors, two paint brushes. Um, yeah, this is really cool. I really like this. The inspiration the glasses. <laughs> I finished the painting. I actually really like it. It's not even perfect at all whatsoever. And I'm also gonna insert a picture once it's done drying because it might look a little different. And here's the sunglasses. The inspiration, the artist, the craft. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. This is super fun, and I can only imagine that my skills are only gonna keep getting better. Reminder, I am not a painter. I just like to paint. Good little project for myself to just push myself as a creative and try new things. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Also, if you wanna keep up with me on the day to day, I'm always on Instagram and Twitter, so follow me on there too. See you guys next time.